Assalamualaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the centrally acting sympatholytic agents of the antihypertensive drugs. So basically in this class we are have a clonidine and methyl dopa drugs. So in this lecture we will be like more focusing upon the mechanism of action, uses of the centrally acting sympatholytic agents and side effects of the centrally acting sympatholytic agents. Now, centrally acting sympatholytic agents contain clonidine and methyl dopa uh, of the antihypertensive drugs. So, for the mechanism of action, there are uh, these are having a same mechanism of action. Now, if we talk about mechanism of action, now what happens? Let's suppose this is a brain. This is midbrain. This is bone. This is medulla. This is spinal cord. Now, this is a rough diagram. Now this is in the region of midbrain bones and medulla. These areas are called brain stem. So in this area, we are having a certain receptor that is called alpha 2A receptor. So alpha 2A receptor are the specialized receptor that is being located in the vasomotor center area of the brain stem. Now what happens that these clonidine and methyl dopa they come and they act on this alpha 2a receptor and get stimulate this receptor now what happens after this as soon as when it stimulate the alpha 2a receptor the sympathetic outflow sympathetic outflow get decreases now when the sympathetic outflow get decreases so it act on two areas that is heart and that is blood vessel soon as when it act on heart it decrease the heart rate and decrease the cardiac contractivity and when it act on blood vessel it decrease the peripheral vascular resistance and both these cases it ultimately lead to decrease BP so this is a very simple mechanism of action for the clonidine and alpha methyl dopa what happens that clonidine and methyl dopa it stimulate the alpha 2a receptor and the vasomotor center so after the after this sympathetic outflow get decreases and it act on heart and blood vessel soon as when it act on heart it decrease heart rate and decrease cardiac contractivity and when it act on blood vessel it decrease the peripheral vascular resistance and both cases it lead to decrease pp so this is a general mechanism of action for the clonidine and alpha methyl dopa now let's talk, talk about the uses of centrally acting sympatholytic agents so there are a lot of uses of the centrally acting sympatholytic agents but more specifically if we talk about so for that we are having a trick that is phd so what is the uses for the cent centrally acting sympatholytic agent that is phd where p stand for the Profile lexis of migraine. Where P stands for the profile lexis of migraine, H stands for hypertension, and D stands for diabetic neuropathy. So there will be an, a lot of uses, but more specifically, which is which you need to remember that is profile lexis of migraine, that is hypertension, and that is diabetic neuropathy. Now, if we talk about the side effects of the uh, centrally acting sympatholytic agents, so we'll explain it anywhere. Till now, we cover the general mechanism of action of the centrally acting sympatholytic agents and the uses of the centrally acting sympatholytic agents. Now, we'll talk about the side effects of the clonidine and alpha methyl dopa. Now, if we talk about the side effect of the clonidine, so for the clonidine we are having we, we have a trick that is phd so what are the main side effects of clonidine that is parotid gl gland swelling so p stands for parotid gland swelling where s stands for the hypotension more specifically we would say postural hypotension and d stands for the dryness dryness of mouth and eyes 
So what are the main side effects of clonidine? That is PHD, where P stands for parotid gland swelling, S stands for hypotension, rather I would say posterior hypotension, and D stands for the dryness of mouth and eyes. Now let's, let's talk about the methyl dopa side effects. If we talk about the side effect of the methyl dopa, so for the side effect of methyl dopa, we are having, we are have, we are having a mnemonic that is methyl dopa. Where every single alphabets will indicate the one of the side effect of the methyl dopa. Where M stand for the mental retardation. Where M stands for the mental retardation, E stands for electrolyte imbalance, T stands for tolerance, and S stands for the hypotension. Sorry, S stands for hepatotoxicity. And Y stands for the psychosis. More focusing on this Y. And L stands for the lactations and female. Lactation and females. And D stands for the dryness of mouth and eyes. D stand for the dryness of mouth and eyes. O stand for edema. P stand for Parkinsonism. Where A stand for anemia. More specifically, we would say hemolytic anemia. So, what are the side effects of the methyl dopa? For that, we are we have a mnemonic that is methyl dopa. We are M stand for mental retardation, E stand for electrolyte imbalance, T stand for tolerance, S stand for hepatotoxicity, P, uh, Y stand for psychosis. We are L stand for lactation and females, D for dryness of mouth and eyes, O stand for oedema, and P stand for Parkinsonism, and at the last, A stand for anemia, more specifically hemolytic anemia. So student, this is all. This is all about the uh, centrally acting sympatholytic agents. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.